walls of fire. They're surrounded by holy walls of fire. If we would be able to see the spiritual realms, this wouldn't be something I'd have to explain. You'd, you'd all be aware, including myself. And the reality is that we learn these beautiful ideas from our righteous teachers, especially Rev. Shalom Orish. We are here in this beautiful, beautiful studio. We're so happy to return to the Jerusalem studio. It was a beautiful class last night. We have to give a big thank you, Hashem. Thank you to the studio team. Thank you to the Wine Red Brothers and the new band, Shtetl. An awesome, awesome band. It was awesome energy. And it gave us the power to really build an amazing, amazing, amazing class. Last night with Amuna as our future, we had the opportunity to enter into the realm of Amuna Global, as we spoke about in our previously mentioned Amuna class, weekly class. Last week in my home, we brought out the light of Hanukkah, the Zos Hanukkah, the climax of Hanukkah. And as Wine Red Brothers so beautifully mentioned, that we have the power to bring this light with us into the new time period that we're going. We are in the time period of Chodesh Tevas, the month of Tevot, Tevas, and we're also in the month of Shvat coming up. These two months are difficult months. They're the months of the long days of the winter. It gives us the power to tune into the hidden light, the inner light, the light, the awe of our soul, and to have a power from that energy and spiritual devotion to our <laughs> inner mission of reality that we are not alone. We have to understand that we're never alone. We're united souls. We're joined together on a true level. We're never in a feeling of depression, God forbid. We're always trying to generate that warmth and that light that we felt this Hanukkah. This is the mindset that we have to go ahead. And there's nothing better than we come to Pasha's Vayichi Yaakov and we enter into the Siam, the completion of Sefer Barashas, Shabbos Chazak, Shabbos Chazak is a time to really join together as a human presence of oneness, of unity, of unification of soul. That there's a tremendous revelation from Yaakov Avinu in this week's pastor, our Holy Father, Jacob. Hello, yes, people are reaching out with some fire and energy. And Yaakov reminds us that we're souls, that we have a purpose. And this is something which can impact our daily life, not just in the in the theory or theoretical, but should be something that we live with and experience. That's our hope that the Amuna classes impact the reality. I apologize, Ryan, AmunaLive.com has been uh, not working 100%, the website, so we're just getting that fixed and updated, hopefully for 2022. And we have their ability to constantly partner with us so we can impact us in a practical sense. In the meanwhile, we can all joined together through all the other platforms that are functioning. Thank God, the YouTube, the Facebook, the Instagram, the TikTok, everything has been going ahead full steam now. Now that we're after Hanukkah, there's a lot of light to bring down and share together. Thank God we have the opportunity to get this class again on the website on breslev.com. And please God, it will go up a one eventually on the newer website, the newer version, the 0.3 or 3.0 version. We're excited to get there and eventually see that happen in real time. But until then, we have another Muna class hopefully coming this Sunday. We have a few guests. We're debating who to bring. Joseph Daniel this in black. Uh, he's back from his tour in the U.S., thank God, already. He's flying, hopefully, in the next day or so. It was a tremendous uh, achievement, what he did, three weeks of inspiration, hearing only good feedback online. As a student of the Rav, we always wish him success, and especially with the moon of music that's generated by our friends like Yosef Daniel and Nissen Black, and wonderful music we, we welcome and hope to see more and more online is the Shtetl Band. It was just tremendous energy generated, and we see that there were music there's a lot of warmth and fire that we could bring with us when you're listening on your on your phone or whatever it is you have nowadays to generate that kind of vibe as you're going around in your daily life to bring the music of Ramuna with you so that we're replacing it as Gedalia Fence so well put that we shouldn't be listening to music that's damaging to the soul we should listen to music that uplifts the soul and gives us energy to do our voda to do our holy service and I'm holding right now being that 
myself is in a transition point after being in the Hanukkah world, in the world of light. I was traveling myself for a few weeks and I wasn't able to enter into this holy studio until yesterday, until we finally got the merit to sit with Rav Oresh and hear from him about important points of how to help ourselves overcome the eight Sahara. And we have to understand that in this time of year, there's a there's a cold eight Sahara. We have different types of eight Sahara. There's eight Sahara of, of warmth, of fire, passions and desires and then there's a yetzer of calling us off like the the force of amalek tries to cause call us off so we have to tune in to the amek kulam sadikim there's that inner light the inner truth that we all have and everyone has within them that gives us the warmth and the, the passion for yiddishkeit for vodas hashem for truth for muna and this is our muna class where we're building around ourselves walls of fire why? Because we're being constantly attacked on a certain level. There's a tremendous amount of outside distraction and noise that's constantly trying to take us away from our purpose, our mission. And that's what Yaakov in this week's Pasha reminds all his sons as he calls to them, Shema Yisrael, and they call back to him, Shema Yisrael, Shema Lekeinu, Shema Chad. And we know that that oneness, that unification, that truth of reality, that we're really bound to an ultimate oneness of it, with Hashem Yisbarach, with our Creator, that Muna, that everything's from Hashem, that everything happens is for the good, and Hashem loves us. All the beautiful sayings that Rav Oresh has been teaching us these last few months, we have the power to tune in to that Amuna truth, and that gives us a fire, a passion, an, an energy, as chaskus, as it says, a tremendous strengthening and encouraging of on the soul level and on the practical level that we can give over much more soul connection to the people around us. As a Y. Jacobson was talking about in last week's Parsha, that we have to understand that kashur nafsho, that we have a kesha nefesh to the people around us, tremendous deep soul connection to our soulmates, and this is something we're discussing in our Relationship Flow podcast, that we're tuned in to the soul level of the people who we love, our, our spouse, please God, our friends, all the different family and people that so we surround ourselves in our sphere of influence. I've been discussing this in our United Souls course, which I want to remind everyone that we have the climax for 2021 coming together, United Souls. Please God, we're going to be going ahead and pull VDU, a tremendous class with internalization. It's very important after learning so much together and going through, say, for example, this whole Sefer Bereshis, the beginning of the Torah, the first book, and going together with all our Avas Kedoshim and Imaus Kedoshim with the holy, righteous mothers and fathers to be able to internalize all these wonderful teachings so they should become part of our soul, part of our being. So we should think in that way. It shouldn't just be some external experience. We could have a nice chillin' on Shabbos or, you know, if, if whatever we're doing, it, if we're we're not Jewish, for example, we're having inspiration from these classes, but we don't know how to place it practically. We have to get those tools. And that's one of the things I do in my course, United Souls course. I try bring it into a real time, real way that it should affect our relationships in a positive, profound way that we should realize that we have the fuel and the energy to be able to empower our relationships with a kind of love. And I know that I'm personally not always living up to this, but that's why it's so important to constantly go together on a weekly level and learn these things, learn together with Rav Vosh. We The Rav himself wants us to be weekly. This came up in the previous week. Unfortunately, it was a bit of a mistake from the studio, but we had, just being very straight, there was a class that went up and it was without myself, without any guests. And the, the point of from the Rav was he wanted to have a class, but didn't go to its full strength. It wasn't the full amount of time and it made it made it didn't seem like the full energy of what we're trying to do here we're trying to create not just a muna classes with the rub but we want to bring together unity with all the different people all the guests all the personalities all the souls we want us to go global that we don't want the rub's message to just stay with the current students the job the job of the current students is to get the message global and that's what we bring in more personalities, more energy, more music, more soul to the class. Not because the Rav himself is missing anything. The Rav's teachings are, are thank God, are everything we need. The Garna Muna to really, all the books are there to really help us. But just to bring that collaborative energy, it creates a tremendous 10x power on the class. And it's something which I've learned from being in the music world and the business world. We understand that when we collaborate, Right now, I was talking to some people about a massive concept to bring a, a sort of focus in on some of these massive causes like uh, fighting poverty and fighting the uh, 
God forbid, we should never know, but the whole child racketeering world where they're taking children for children pornography, God forbid, and they're selling children on this this whole reality that's out there. There's there's charities, thank God, that are fighting this. There's personalities, individuals who are fighting this whole negative reality of lack of sustenance, lack of of abundance for people. There's thank God, there's charities out there who are stopping this this child child porn industry, at least trying to stop it. And there's there's thank God, there's so many charities trying to develop resources that people should have everything they need educationally and emotionally and musically and spiritually and all the different levels and as we are doing right here in Chut Chesed but we have to realize that it needs to be done on a larger scale because we need to impact change on a global level and that's my hope I was speaking to some very big people out there bringing some very famous celebrities into very big shows and it was an opportunity for me to join with those people hopefully in the in the near future with thank God my past I grew up with the people who headed you know Live Aid the one of the largest concerts ever in history that impacted the whole of Ethiopia and gave sustenance for thousands and thousands of people and brought an opportunity for the world to have more of awareness of the, of the poverty that goes on in the world and that they could be partners in that. And my family, thank God, were involved in the promotion and the production and, you know, they put together with Sabog events that really impacted and, and showed that music and unity is something in the general world can have an impact in a positive way through getting rid of of the the tremendous poverty that's existed over the many years in the in many countries and there is an increase in wealth thank god in the world even though people always talk and i was listening to dr jordan peterson about this that they always talk about on a negative level that there's a lack of sustenance there's a lack of warmth a lack of love a lack of energy that the world needs to be completely stripped swept over and undone and all the systems and everything's wrong and always going negative 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 and this is part of why we need these walls to protect us from this kind of negative energy that's out there that we have to understand there's a tremendous amount of blessing as Ravosh always taught and has been teaching us and me personally that we live in a land of abundance there's a swell tremendous blessing and abundance it reminds me of Shlomo Katz Rav Shlomo Katz, who I will have the pleasure, please God, this Shabbos, to join his community in a frat. Please go with my family. I'm very excited to go. First time I'm having Shabbos in a frat. And I have the opportunity to experience some of the abundance that's been going on in the frat community there for his new shul and his and all the other people there. And it's tremendous abundance going on in Eretz as well. And that's the mindset of such people like Rav Oresh and Rav Shlomo Katz, that we have to realize there's blessing in the land and that we can make Aliyah successfully. And personally, I've been here over 20 something years as i already just mentioned previously we celebrated my 20th anniversary and i've lived thank god most of those 20 years being married in yushalayim and my time in it so mostly in jerusalem and i want to thank hashem that i get to live in the holiest city i get to come together with you guys and do a class in the holiest place in the world and as a kimati on tate say torah that the the torah comes out from this place and it's an opportunity for us together on a communal level to share this message to get it out there that we are surrounded by walls of holiness. For example, let's give some examples. When you get married, please God, all of you out there, thank God to be married 20 years, as I mentioned, you go into the chuppah, this, this canopy, and it represents this, this heavenly realm that leads you Lamala, Labav, the marriage needs the Shekhinah, Kadosh needs these, these spiritual aspects to go to the success, to join two souls together, that they're, they're from a higher realm, this Ches, this, this Ches, this Olam Hashmini, this higher realm, bringing that light into the marriage, and you're standing in this chuppah, in this canopy, and the wife, she goes round and round, the soulmate, the color, the bride, she goes round and round, the husband, seven times, and this builds walls of fire around the husband to protect him no matter what and bring the Shechina Kedosha excuse me I haven't had time really to eat even today even though it's a fast day tomorrow and we'll mention that in a minute the idea that the wife's building these walls and this is an opportunity for us <clears throat> to have this heavenly protection so no matter where I traveled in the last few weeks I was traveling to London then back to Manchester then to London and Eretz as well <clears throat> and with all the current corona restrictions and obstacles i had the opportunity personally to overcome that that 
destructive or destructive even forces out there and able to have that heavenly protection wherever I went and I was able to make it back just like we went on our Muna tour to Miami, New York and there's requests already to bring Ravorish to LA, Los Angeles hopefully in January and Arizona we have to finalize that please go to Mexico exactly when in January in the Shabbos is. we'll probably be there for one Shabbos and then during the week and there's another request in February to go to be in the UK to Manchester, London we have to finalize it's up to you guys to reach out make it happen anyone out there in those locations want to make it happen we've had requests vaguely if i remember from texas but not enough to make a an official visit but it's up to you you've got my email everything's in the description below connect to us <clears throat> make the amuna tour a reality and realize that we need that heavenly protection just like we know in this week's partial shabbos chazak we know that Yaakov was by the end was seemingly weak, but he strengthened himself to get that blessing, to get to bring that blessing to his children and to all the doyas, all the generations. And that would be very relevant for time right now. The way Erev Esara Batavus, the tenth of Tavus, <coughs> we're in the three days of darkness, it's brought down that these days are days where there was darkness because one, the Torah is translated into Greek in a way that was taking the translation in a in an overly literal way and distorting the truth of the Torah and we've seen that that's happened for all the generations always been some sort of false way of representing the Torah and a distortion of the Torah the distortion of the truth of of Kodesh Baruch Hu he revealed to us and then there's Ezra Novi was passed away during these three days he was the last of the Nevi'im last of the prophets and hopefully soon we'll be seeing prophet, the return of prophecy again but that's at the end of exile we'll see that return so until all this time we've had no prophets from the time of Ezra so that brought darkness that revelation of prophecy was no longer something that could just come through <coughs> individuals other than Ruch HaKodesh the Holy Spirit which thank God with righteous people in every generation we still get that but then we had the third day which is now approaching tonight and tomorrow a fast day and we fast the whole day tomorrow not in the night but we have the experience of the fast day and this represents the tenth of Tavis with a whole beginning this is the beginning of all the tragedies all the problems all the difficulties of exile began on this day <clears throat> as it says in the Svarim in the Holy Svarim that that's when Nebuchadnezzar and all the different enemies came to the walls of Yushalayim and began to siege and that represents once again the destruction of those holy walls around us that protect us that encave us that give us the protection we need to be in this world we have to have this this heavenly protection think about it as there's so much crazy stuff going on i mean i live right next to the area shaman sadik which has another name and there's been so many things going on there cars burning and riots and people god forbid being hurt and even killed and it's crazy. I mean, just up the road is the old city. This is all happening. We need these heavenly walls to protect us from these kind of tragic moments that have gone on historically and right now, currently, in the current stress of where we live <coughs> and in New Shalayim. And we have to pray for peace. Shalom Israel. This is the, <coughs> my personal mission, being a Kohen. There should be a priestly blessing that we should have peace on earth. And an end to this tragedy. There should be communication, ability to connect. Thank God, that's what I'm trying to do with these music events, these larger events, and bring together with Ravosh and the Unity Flow podcast and all the Yamuna classes and the Muna is our future podcast. Bring together a lot of actors, a lot of unity between different groups, even the different groups within Bresla, where sometimes <clears throat> there's a lot of competition. We have to realize, no, we're all working for Hashem, we're all working to bring the light. And that brings us to Rabbi Nossin. Rabbi Nossin was a student of Rav, of Rav Sh- Rabbi Nachman, Christian Lane, Rabbi Nachman ben Simcha, Rabbi Nachman ben Feger, Rabbi Nathan. He was the student, of, uh, the, the student of Rav Orish, the, uh, sorry, of Rabbi Nachman, that brought down the light of Rabbi Nachman into all the students that we have now, like Rav Orish, and all the students we have amongst all the other groups, like Rav Chaim Kramer, and, Rav, and, and all the other groups of Bresa, Rav Nathan Maimon, all these holy Rabbonim that give us over so much light in the, in the Bresa of world, especially in English, what we're talking about here, that we have the ability Please God, to understand that with that kind of light from Rabbi Nachman, there's the Orisha Mashiach, the light of Mashiach, the light that we experience of Hanukkah, comes through the Torah, in, through the students of such holy people like Rabbi Nachman and Rabbi Nassim, and we get to experience practical advice, Eitzes, how to serve Hashem, like Lukuti Alachos, is filled with practical advice, how to take the Shulchan Aruch and bring it alive with spiritual energy and light and fire, that it should light us up, it should protect us with the awe, this, this surrounding light. For me personally, when I first was returning to Hashem, 
<clears throat> that was something which was very profound. I noticed that people have a light around them. If you look sensitively, people are surrounded. There's an aura. There's a light, an literal light around us. I mean, the, the fact that we have technology that can get the light of our souls through the spirituality, through the Torah. We talk about such righteous people and bring such revelations through the internet. And it should really glow global. <clears throat> it should grow globally. And it's an up, to, an up to us, each of us, to realize that this is a spiritual light that's going through the internet. The internet is just a tool for us to bring that light forth. And that's something that we're doing, working so hard on. And that wall of fire is a protection that we have, a homus ash, as it says in Hebrew. And Rav Simai Zilberberg brings down this homus ash is the ash of the fire, the or, or show Avram, the or of, of the soul, the or of the, all the souls, because Avram had within him all the souls of the Jewish people and all the souls of the world. He was also the Avlegarium. He was the father of all the converts. And right now we see this light collecting together, this kibbutz, this unification of, of all the different souls. And this is up to us to tune into that. To open ourselves to this this gathering of souls that's taking place right now. At the end of the day is people are kind of returning back to the Holy Land. People online are returning to online communities that are healthy for them. They give them that spirituality. That's what we hope Breast of English will be and will always be. And everything and personally I'm involved in, the Muna path, the path of unity souls, the idea that United Souls, we have a, a point, a place of safe haven and we can come together. And thank God there are now opportunities to even reach out to further places like one of our friends was on TED Talks, one of the guests we had there, Moshe Gersh. And we have the ability to go into new realms of influencing the light of Torah, spirituality, into the world. And that's one of the big appreciations we have for Chabad. They built these Chabad houses, these houses of fire in communities all around the world. I was just contacting someone in Hawaii today. Yeah, Chabad's in Hawaii. Well, Chabad's everywhere. You know, we have the power. Oh, someone wrote down, Lakuti Maron. Yes, we have the power. And I, I do want to give a shout out for our YouTube um, cover picture to Marco Dashev. Marco Dashev, he's been giving us some beautiful, beautiful pictures from the Miami tour with Rav Oresh, which we were able to coincide with the Lighthouse Tour project and be able to have a collaborative experience and have some amazing photo shoot from Marco Dashev. And he's also phot photographed my artist, Nissan Black, which I organized a few years back. And please go, we have many opportunities for my new artists. As I've been mentioning, I'm now working with Shlom Zionz. He's not a musician, he's a speaker, but he's going to have opportunity now to book Shlomi Zion's also a guest in our studio through me and myself, the Baruch Hashem and Westside uh, Gravy was also able to make it out on the tour with Nisim and you can also book that artist. There's an opportunity to create a lot of positive events out there, both online and in person. And, and this is a power that we have through joining together, through working together. And I need your feedback. I need your collaboration. I can't do this alone. In the end, these events take place, thank God, due to people who are building beautiful organizations. They're building the fire around their community that protects their community and inspires their community. They're building those opportunities that gives us an online experience that once again is inspirational and not damaging. And we have the ability to create that kind of fire. The Eish Lahava, the Yosef Asadik is finishing off the Chumash with, we take his his last Pesukim on this week's Parsha before we say, Chazak, Chazak, Menis Chazak, which is interesting, three times Chazak, to Gometra Moshe. We already see inside this Parsha a hint of Moshe Rabbeinu, this, who's going to be leading us in the coming Shabbos of Shovavim, Shovavim Tat. This year's Shovavim Tat, it's an extended Shovavim, which is, gives us that light of Yosef and brings the Aaron of Yosef. The, that's the end of this week's Parsha. The Aaron of Yosef, the coffin of Yosef, a Sadik. It brings us with the two eyes and the Vav, as the Rev. Rev. Uh, Avram Monica Isbi once taught me this idea of the, the Vav Yud Yud, this idea of the Yud K Vav K, this Gematria 26, is bringing this part of ourselves. We have within us two Yuds and a Vav, this 10, 10, 6, 26. We have on our face a Yud Yud Vav. We have the, with, the Shem of Vaya is with us, and it's Yosef Asad is bringing us that light through these past years now, through these winter time, which is more challenging, through the colder time, through this Corona challenge, it still continues. We are 
going, breaking through, Poets Geder, as Rav Oresh said yesterday. We're together with the light of Mashiach, Melech Mashiach, of Yehuda, Sadik, and also, because we have Yosef and Yehuda, together they join the Melech Poets Geder, with Dovid and Melech's light as well. It gives us that light together to break down all the false walls and to erect walls of fire that build, rebuild Yushalayim, that rebuild each person's home, that rebuild the walls of the heart, where you should pray, you should constantly be praying and banging at those walls of those of, of tefillah opening up new sharim, new gates, as the Rav spoke beautifully, that the idea of prayer, this is the Sheikh Hadash, this is the, the new song that we need to constantly put into our life, this new shah, this new gate of tefillah and prayer and dedication. My hope is, by learning together, we're going to round off now. There's a lot of, of, of awareness in these classes of the soul, and that we all need to increase that awareness of the soul it will give us energy it will help us with our family and our friends it will help us to be a better person i pray for all of us to be blessed with shalom bias peace in the home everyone should be blessed with a shabbos chazak i'll be in a frat i'll have your mind there hopefully please go with the family it should be successful everyone should be blessed in everything they're doing we should have success in the studio we should work together realize that we're all together we need each other it's the Yetzirah wants us to not have Avis Yisrael, not to work together, but we have to be collaborative. The light of Rami Nachman needs to be done, to, to shared in a way that's universal and, and it's connecting all the different groups and all the different people. It's not a competition. We're all here together. And that's the hope that we'll have that unity within each group, within each larger group. Personally, as I put up on one of my statuses, a beautiful picture of the Tolna Rebbe, that's who I was by Hanukkah. Thank God I had the blessing to be there. We, we understand that there's all different groups in, in the Jewish people. There's, there's all different men hug and different customs. And in the world as well, general customs that help guide humanity towards a good place. We mentioned already the Shev Mitzvah B'nai Noach have a universal source that can unite the world on a, in a moral way, in a, in a loyal way. And it can give principles. There's so many, thank God, good voices out there. We listened to a guy called Zubi. I mentioned him previously. Ben Shapiro is also an interesting voice. There's a lot of good people out there without getting political, just tuning into the, the principles that they live by and how it impacts their life to be a better quality life. There's so many people out there, Joe Rogan as well, even though like he seems like he talks like he says himself, I'm a savage, but he has there a lot of good principles and love towards his friends and loyalty towards his people. You can learn out from so many things, so much good, and track good, zayin good, think good, it will be good, to remember that Hashem is only looking out for our good and wanting to think good about us. Yosef Asadik is only thinking good about his brothers, even though everything that happened in these stories we had in the last few weeks, it's the challenge between each other. In the end, we have to only think good, especially of the Sadik, think good of our Chavayim, that we're all together, that we need to work together and build a, a picture that impacts the world with unity, with our with about each other, we need to think good of our spouse, we need to think good of our children, that we're souls, as YYJX we mentioned before. We need to have a good thought, even if people, for example, right now, there's one or two groups that are not sure they want to be associated or this and that. In the end, we're all associated on the inner level. We're all connected. There's a love. There's a respect. There's a covered and uh, in a positive sense, and there's ability to join together. But remember that ultimately Shema Yisrael that we're going to join together with the big Shabbos Chazak, and we're going to hear that Shema Yisrael as Yaakov and Yosef unified last week, and again in this week's Pasha when all the sons said Shema Yisrael, and that's where we get the minhag to say Baruch Shem on bed, and that in Shema Yisrael six words. Connected to the six weeks we're going to be counting with Shabbat coming after the Shabbos, taking us away from this fast day, this difficult day that we're going into. Hopefully, it'll be turned around to Sosim Simcha. We'll hopefully be in the new week. We'll already be in the base of Migdash. We'll see these fires, walls, these walls of fire that protect us on our online, that protect us in our homes, that protect our hearts, protect our souls. We'll see them manifest in the pure positivity that they represent. It says by Aaron Cohen that he was the, the sim and the sign of Anea Kovid, these clouds of glory that surround us and protect us. This is the kind of true fire, not a fire that burns and destroys, fire that protects and gives warmth and light. This is the Anea Kovid, the clouds of glory that surrounds us, that we are surrounded by light and we have a tremendous opportunity to share and impact that light in the world, to be an all the goyim, the all to all the nations. Everyone here has an opportunity on a weekly level to join us. Thank you again in the studio in Jerusalem. Share this light, global partner. Join up with our Munator online and in person. Make it happen in your community. We're now deciding this is a time to build those tours. This is a time to build these classes. And I thank you again. Thank God everything's good. 
We thank Hashem Yisbarach, Tada Hashem, and we can't wait to see you again after beautiful Shabbos Chazak, Sunday hopefully in a Munakas with the Rav, guests to be announced, and also myself to join you again on a weekly level. Please share, we'll be back in the studio at 3.30, it's Israel time, 8.30 American time. Remember on the Tuesday after that we'll have our course, United Souls, you can sign up to get that more practical outlook of everything we discussed here on this, how to bring these concepts into everyday life, and we Bless you all to have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead and be blessed to Shabbos Kodesh, a Shabbos Kodesh, which please God will just give, ah, oh, Oklahoma, people are reaching out. Maran is a Cossack from Reino, Rabbeinu, Harav Rabbi Nachman, meaning our master and teacher, Rabbi Nachman, that's right. And in the Schuss and Merit of Rabbi Nossin, his student, who showed us how to be a true Talmud, a true dedicated student, no matter what, through fire and water, to truly be dedicated to the fire of, of, of the Siddiquim, of the, which was really the fire of the Torah and truth of our souls, of the unification of the world. Amen, v'amen, v'amen. Thank you. Pleasure, Sharon. Good luck.